All right, welcome back to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog. I'm here with Marissa, and we are looking at the Light Me Up Safety Lights for bikes. These are great new products all over San Diego, LA area too. So Marissa, uh, basically these things are just going nuts here in town. These lights are fantastic, right? Yes, they are. The reason for that is that they're very bright. They give you a 360 view when you're riding your bike, which is what you need when you're riding at night. So what we got here is Marissa's going to actually go through a basic install while we're uh, checking them out. Now they come in a lot of colors, right? They come in many different colors, blue, white, green, rainbow. Uh, they come in uh, lengths of seven feet. They take three AA batteries with an off and on switch. The cool thing about it is that you're going to get about 50 hours of usage out of this. And when you replace the batteries, you can use any batteries. It doesn't matter what batteries they are. Any type will keep them going. Okay? Okay. Now I see these all over town. I probably put them on this awesome trail tracker I've been riding, the Pedagogue Trail Tracker. But she's going to do a basic install here. Uh, now I was checking out her website and they really got some nice videos and of course these can be used for anything, bikes, frames, they have shoelaces and you know all kinds of household decorations and campground stuff too. So, so show me what you got going on here. The, the main battery box is just going to go right on the spokes. Okay. This is the battery box. This is what we call a coated wire. Okay. Now what we do is we turn the bike upside down because that's the best way to do it. We install the lights directly above the air valve. Why? I'll show you in a second when I'm done. First thing we're going to do is we're going to string the zip tie. And that's going to go just above the air hose. Okay? Perfect. Real simple. Okay? We're going to slide the box right in that and we're going to tighten that. That looks pretty straightforward. Now she's telling me these, you can't dip it in water, but these are pretty much as close to waterproof as they come. Okay, the box is not waterproof, but the lights are fully waterproof. You can stick these in a glass of water and they will continue to work. But it'll resist a lot of rain. The it battery resist, box basically, it'll, it'll yeah, as long as you're not riding in puddles, you'll be yeah. okay. And here okay. in California, no problem. We are in San Diego, but uh, you can get these things on the website and get them anywhere. Okay, next step. Okay, so the next step is you just want to make, make sure the box is secure, which is fully tight. The box is not going anywhere. We're going to get a secondary zip tie, okay? And we're going to go around this for extra support. This is the, this is the reason you can jump off curves with this. Okay. All right, do some curb jumping. Of course, I do that all the time on this trail tracker. Okay, you got to get that real tight in there. Then we do it, and then we do a third one. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it's good and secure. Good and secure because that's what's gonna keep you from being able to jump. You can jump off the curb, and nothing's going to happen to your bike. Okay. So once we got those done. And she's going to trim those flush we're with gonna, a real nice flush those cutter. Out when we're done. Never leave yeah. any sharp edges on your Never adjust ties. Any, nope. Yeah. Okay, now this coated wire. This coated wire is going to keep getting wrapped up all the way up the straight wire here. It's going to keep going nice and tight. Okay, and you can, as you can see, you can pull on these. You can tug on this. Real simple. Okay, another good, another good thing is. You need to keep the light on when you are installing these lights. Why? Because you want to make sure that there's not a short anywhere while you're installing these lights. And that's a great tip. So make sure they're on during the, during make the install. Make sure they're on during the entire install because if you don't have them on and you finish and then you find out there's a short, then you did all the work for nothing. Okay. Now, Marissa and her company, they do actually do parties and do installs at a lot of events. So uh, if you're here with her, the install isn't free. It's free to have done. You can do it yourself if you get them on the website. But I was watching her last night at a big event, and they ins she installed them on her friend, uh, installed them on more than a few bikes, quick and easy, and the people were just so jazzed to have them. Okay. Now, I'm at the end of the coated wire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the X6 wire out and just kind of tighten it around there. Now, one thing you have to remember, do not unravel this until you are done with the coated wire. Now, we are, because if you unravel it prior to that, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna, it, you're gonna get a big tangle and you do not want that to happen. Makes sense. Okay. So leave them raveled up until you're ready to start uh, putting them in the spokes. Correct. Now at this point you have your ability to be creative or just go straight forward. I saw you have ones that kind of spiral okay. and... Once you start to, uh, once you start to 
learn how to wire these, you can make a lot of tricks with these. Now, it's pretty simple to unravel. You just go. It's pretty, it's pretty slick. It's pretty tough. Okay. Now, we're going to go on every other straight spoke here. Real All simple. Right. Real simple. Every Wrap other around. Straight spoke. Bring out of the top. Done. So a little, a little twist at each, a at little each twist. outside spoke. That's all you have to do. A little twist. Okay. Okay. Moving along Going quick all here. all around very quickly. As you can see, this installation can take five minutes per tire. That's very quick. Okay. As you can see, we're just wrapping it around each spoke. She's almost done. We are almost there. I'm pulling very tight. What you want to do is you want to pull tight around. You want to pull tight and you want to do it as high as you can. You can pull tight. That way when you're riding your bike, they don't slide down. They're, they're real tight. Now the effects, once you get these on, are awesome. On top of the safety aspect, it's just really fun to have your bike lit up. Like I say, check out some of her videos of some of the parties she's had. It's just uh, the fun and the safety these are going to add. And uh, she also has ones that are a little different. You can use these too, but wrap around the frame. Yes. You They've can got use uh, these. shoelace ones. And uh, you can pretty much use these for just about anything other than your bike. And uh, apparently the ones with the, uh, the spirals in them was the second one that was kind of spiraling in addition to these ones. Correct. And you got rainbow ones, ones in straight colors. Uh, we have some that flash. Ooh, flashing. We have many, many to offer. And as, that, and as you see, that's pretty much the end result there. Um, Okay, well, I'm going to test the heck out of these. Thanks, Marissa, so much for the, uh, the video on how to put them on. I did kind of recommend that it wouldn't be bad to put something like this on our own website. Uh, okay. but, but basically, part of their deal is, is they are glad to install them at any event. They'll, if you want to throw a party, they'll come to a special party and put them on everybody's bikes. And the, the uh, cost on these babies is incredibly reasonable. Ten dollars. Here's a cool thing about these lights. If you have extra of these lights, here's all you have to do and they still work. Boom, just like that. Fantastic. All right, well, thanks, Marissa. Uh, you're going to see more of these from me, and these things are all over town. I sure appreciate you uh, uh, showing me these and uh, getting me set up to do some great riding with lights at night. Thank you very much. All right.